a New York-based startup called Aereo just launched its streaming TV service here in New York, so we decided to give it a test drive. The company, which is backed by former TV executive Barry Diller, expects to roll out the service to up to 100 cities within a year. Basically, Aereo lets you stream and record all of the stations that are available free over the air. Right now, the Aereo service, which is $12 a month, only works on the Safari browser and iPhone and iPads, but the company expects to roll it out to other browsers and Android devices sometime soon. So let's take a look at it on my iPad. On an iPhone or iPad or on your computer, you just go to the Safari browser and log in to Areo.com. You can register up to five devices on an account, and it's actually very easy to get started. So what's interesting about the Areo interface is that it's very app-like, even though it exists in a browser. The site, which is built on HTML5, is much easier to navigate on a touchscreen device using your finger than on a computer using a mouse. So it's really straightforward. There's a guide that displays the shows that are currently on air and those coming up, and you can just tap on a show to watch it or record it. So let's take a look at Arthur, which is currently on PBS. There's a little bar on the video player that shows the streaming status. Uh, this little dot, once it gets all the way to the right, where there's the live, that's where it might pause for a couple seconds and buffer. But really, it's been very, very reliable every time that we've tried to watch a show. On the Aereo site, you can easily change your five registered devices and also check on the status of your two antennas. Each Aereo account has two dedicated antennas, which are tiny, wafer-thin little guys that live in a warehouse in Brooklyn. Having two antennas allows you to watch live TV at the same time that you may be recording something. To watch your recorded shows, you just go up to your recordings and click on what you want to watch. I recently recorded the local newscast. Just click watch and it'll show up. Right now, every major broadcaster in New York is suing Aereo for copyright infringement. The lawsuits basically imply that Aereo is somehow stealing from the conventional way of watching TV. While you can certainly watch Aereo on your TV using Apple TV or a Roku box or just plugging in your computer, I'd imagine that a lot of people, even cable subscribers, would want to use the service to watch breaking news or the latest episode of Parks and Rec on their mobile device. Whether or not Aereo ends up being the next big thing, it will certainly push things forward so that you can watch TV where you want to watch it, when you want to watch it, and how you want to watch it.